Hi everyone, this is Paolo from Bystronic. Today I'm going to show you how to add value to your product when you are importing some parts like assemblies or many different parts together. You ready? We can start. So first I will open the Tube Designer and you can see I already have my part here. Uh, as I was saying, we can import here uh, tubes, an assembly maybe uh, done by just tubes, but also an assembly that contains some uh, flat parts or some other mechanical parts or some screws uh, is not important. The software will filter them uh, in, a, in, in an automatic way. So how can the software filter these parts? So first I will select all of them and uh, select the material. So let's say we are cutting this in, in stainless steel. I was saying how the software selects this part. Um, for each part, uh, the software has a library of profiles and will try to match every profile with the library we have. And everything that is not recognized as a tube will be filtered and we will see all the tubes in, in a color that is green and everything that is not being recognized as a tube will be purple. So we can easily uh, even visually detect what is our production and what is uh, to be done on another machine. So meanwhile, I'm talking, the software is making this rec recognition and also is pre-calculating the cutting strategy. So later, if we want to go in the nesting part, for example, with all these parts, we will be ready without uh, waiting for anything else. So as you can see now, our structure of tubes has been recognized. So all these tubes are green. Everything that was not a tube is part. Now I can start working a little bit um, with, with my assembly. So one of the things that uh, our customer uh, do a lot is to add connection to the part for making the, the life easier to who is welding later this, this frame. So for example, I could select part one and two and uh, select the interface between them and say, for example, that I wanna have a connection uh, in this case, I selected a, a very easy U connection. And then I can go back and you see that our assembly has been updated with our new shape. Then I can go on the other side. So select the other couple. And uh, in this side, you see we have our notch. And for example, would be a good thing uh, if we want to change the shape of, of our connection. So you see, we have different parametric shapes. Uh, in this case, I will select my uh, clip system. And why I'm doing this? Because so uh, it will be impossible uh, for the operator to uh, miss the right orientation because the right part now is not going to fit anymore with the left part. Um, in the same way, if I have another connection, for example, uh, that is not planar, so it's 90 degrees tube by tube, I could select this couple of tubes and select, for example, this face and the other face and uh, rather than doing the normal U connection, I could use the L clip. So you see that uh, in this case is the typical connection that fits down in the hole and then we clip it. So it's getting stuck and it's not moving anymore. So again, a parametric drawing. So I could say, for example, 15, I could say 12. Uh, for A1, I can say five and for the C, I can say two. So after it, I can apply. And if I zoom, you can see already that we created the male and female. Now I cannot see it, but I can go back. So I can uh, come here and uh, open my, my part, my single part for checking my, um, my connection. You see that in the interface of the part, we created in automatic our, our uh, notch with a, with a clip system. If this is not enough, for example, I could even add an, an engraving. So for example, I could call it, uh, I don't know, bottom part right. So I can position a, a, an engraving, a marking in, in the, wherever I want on the tube, for example, in this case, in the right side. So this will be engraved on the part and will be very easy for the operator then to position uh, the part in the, in the correct position. Uh, yes, I can go back and we have our parts. Now, I can do this for all the parts or whenever I finish, I can click on Save Assembly. So I will be able to come here 
and uh, select a name for this production. So uh, we could call it frame one, two, three, and also a multiplicity. So I could select how many times I need to produce this part. So let's say 50. And I can just go in my uh, production part, refresh, and you see I have um, my frame one, two, three, with all the list of the parts I need to produce. You see that even if we have different profiles, in this case, we had a 60 by 60 and a 50 by 50, uh, just these two profiles, I have the complete bill of material of the, of the parts I need to produce. And if I had different parts, I just have the multiplicity 50. So one part per frame times 50 frames that I need to produce. But if I have uh, two parts that are same in the assembly, the software will recognize them and will create the multiplicity. So two times, times 50 frames I need to produce, so 100. After it, I am again in the standard um, nesting, automatic nesting um, environment. So I can split the production in different lists. Again, I can select maybe just one of them or both of them. In this case, I will select just the 60 by 60 because it's the tube I already have in, in, the, in the stock, for example, and maybe I need to order 50 by 50 and cut it maybe tomorrow or next week. So I can run it in the 60 by 60, you see, and I'm ready here. So I have my list of nesting and the format of the tubes and I'm ready to go in the nesting. So in this case, I will use the tube nester. The tube nester is the automatic function that uh, takes all the parts that I need to produce, uh, makes uh, a combination and an optimization of the space and, and the cutting time. And you can see, meanwhile I was talking, the software created already the different compositions with the multiplicity. So with the our 50 frames, we needed to produce 100 parts of this, uh, 100 parts of this, 50 parts of this, then 50, 50, 50, uh, for producing all these parts on a format tube of six meters, we used 88 tubes. And these are all the programs. So these nine programs will be uh, produced one time with 25 tubes, one time with 16 tubes, one time uh, just one time, the number four will be repeated eight times and we are ready to go on the machine. That's all for now. I hope you learned uh, the new ways for programming the tubes and I hope to see you in the next videos.